Hello, I'm Michael, and this is my wife, Karen Rainwater. Hello. Uh, this is the first of three videos that we're recording to help you with preparation for the Seder. Our Seder is uh, going to be on April the 9th. We're going to do it at 4 p.m., and then we're going to do it at 6 o'clock Mountain Time. So what we're going to go over in this video is how to prepare for the Seder. Uh, we're going to talk about shopping lists. We'll talk about gathering things from home, things you may need to buy, and even some substitutions. Be creative. You know, we'll give you a few ideas, but just go out there and come up with other ideas. And now, now dinner is going to be served at the end. So our service, like if you're coming to the four o'clock, um, mountain or the six o'clock Eastern service. It'll take a little under an hour, right at an hour to do the service. And so you'll plan on eating an hour after that service time with your family, right? Yes. Why don't you talk about things around the house, Karen, that you've been able to use to get ready? Okay, well, we've sort of set up a, a table here with the main things that you need. Uh, if you'll, Michael, if you'll sort of hold up the rule, uh, there will, you'll, you'll need a small bowl, put a, get a small bowl, put some water in it, and put a lot of salt in it so whenever you taste it, it'll be very salty. And then you'll need a small bowl of water, just for oh, like- it's got water in it. Yeah, I'll put water in it. <laughs> yes, for, that's for washing hands, and then you'll need a little towel or something, or use your napkin to dry your fingers after you've done that. And we're, you're going to need three nails. Yep. Nails. Yeah. Three nails, symbolic yeah. of the crucifixion. Right. Right. Uh -huh. And we have our candles here. Now, so these are two candles that yet require fire. And so that you'll need a lighter to light them or matches. Or you can also decide to use these kind of candles instead that um, just have the little battery in them. I like so those. I like these. Yes. Okay. So you can use those for candles. Uh, you'll need two like nice big size napkins. Like big cloth napkins. I'm using the one from the serving plates. Here. Right. Now we all we have a um, we have a, a special bag for our uh, matzah for uh, the matzah. This is called the unity. So we have a special bag, and if you have a special bag, use it. If you don't have a special bag, just wrap them in a napkin. That's what yeah. you'll need the napkins for. Yeah. You'll need something for people to dry their hands with because they're going to wash them in this bowl, a little symbolic washing. You can have a hand towel. So you'll need a glass for your juice. This is the glasses we're using, these small juice glasses. I recommend something kind of small because um, you're going to drink four of these during the meal. Okay, now, yeah. now um, it is traditional to drink the whole glass, but you don't even have to. If you want, you can just tell people to drink part of their glass. Anyway, to the Seder plate, we have different things that you eat. So you'll probably need like uh, some things to scoop utensils, out. Utensils, like the, something to, and you know, a little spoon for the horseradish, a little spoon for the apple salad, things yeah. to serve with. And then at uh, one point in the Seder, it's, um, it's traditional to put your, your finger, your little finger in your, in your juice glass and drip it. We're not gonna do that for obvious reasons. Um, so we're going to use these coffee stirrers is what we're going to use. You can also use toothpicks and then you can drip that into your, into your, into your beverage and put a drop and, uh, and give everybody a, their own stirrer. And so that's, uh, that's a great way to just grab some things around the house. You probably have all of these items. You might have a lot of the items on the next list too, which is our grocery list. We only have eight things on the grocery list you need to go buy and you might have some of these right now. Okay. This is the kind of box, show them the box. It's the kind of box that matzah comes in if you've never bought matzah before. It's kind of that, that's the size box that comes in. And show them a matzah there. That's what it looks like. It's a big, flat. Big cracker. cracker. All right, you need some parsley, <laughs> um, horseradish. Here's what our horseradish looks like. It comes in a nice little jar. Um, some people buy roots, uh, horseradish root, and shave the root and do things like that. It's uh, traditional. Jews will often eat a full teaspoon of this when we say it. Like, like, don't do that. You need some apples. You'll see we'll have a recipe we'll talk about in a few minutes. Some walnuts, some chopped walnuts. We didn't bring them here to the table. It's okay. We have some. Um, and then here's a little surprise ingredient not, you may have not ever heard of at a Seder. Bugles corn chips. Okay, so this is not traditional. It's not used by Jews. 
Um, what is traditional is it is traditional for families to put things on the Seder plate and have a family item on the plate. This is our family item on the plate. You'll see why when we go through the when we go through the meal with you. Get the bugles, okay? Get them. If you're just like Michael, you're crazy. I'm not getting bugles. Um, you can put a roasted egg on your plate. Um, be more traditional. It's okay. Again, what is tradition is that families often do think things different on their plate. So we thought we would teach you some, our, our family, our, our, our family tradition, and um, and why that is and the symbols of that. One thing that is traditional is some fruit of the vine. That's what fruit of the vine. Saying. You got to have some fruit of the vine, some kind of vine, and uh, don't get the white stuff. You know, it's gonna it symbolizes blood. So you're gonna need enough. Every person is gonna be drinking four glasses. All right, so that's gives you an idea how much you're going to need to buy. And then if you really want your cherry set to be extra sweet, buy some brown sugar. We don't put brown sugar in our cherry set because it's sweet enough. Trim healthy okay. mama. That's why. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Next. Let's talk about Thursday dinner. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you plan your dinner and so you can eat anything you want. You don't have to be kosher. Uh, if you choose to include some traditional dishes, we made sort of a list here you can see of traditional dis, uh, dishes, uh, like a roast something, matzo ball soup. Uh, our favorite is the coconut macaroons. Coconut macaroons, red velvet. Uh, I found them at King Super, actually. Actually, King Super and Target are both really good about having Seder items. By the way, uh, it's Today, Jews do not eat lamb at Seder and haven't since the temple, since uh, AD 70 when the temple was destroyed. So um, if, you, if, if you feel like, hey, I've got to have lamb, I've got to have lamb, you don't have to have lamb, even if you want to be very traditional. In fact, the more traditional you want to be, you won't have lamb. Okay? By the way, plain Lay's potato chips is pretty common and is a very common thing at Seder as well. So. And any kind of potato dish, like anything with potatoes, great stuff. Okay, now let's talk about how you make cheriset. Okay, cheriset is um, an apple salad, basically. Uh, you get some apples, you chop them up. It's the main ingredient. It's very common to put walnuts or some kind of chopped nuts in there. And then you pour a little uh, fruit of the vine on there, some grape juice. And um, I've done it with just a little bit of cinnamon and maybe a little apple pie spice. Apple pie spice. Yeah. And then you can add a little brown sugar if you want it extra sweet. Right. Yeah. This is a recipe I got off the internet. There's lots of recipes on yes, the internet. Go search Cheriset. So. Um, go to Pinterest, wherever. Um, sometimes, sometimes you can really just use the apples and some grape juice if you really want to be the ultimate simple. Apples, a little grape juice in it. Just chop the apples up. Um, some people have a little nut allergy, allergies and stuff like that. So just um, keep it simple. The, yes, the height. The idea is to be sweet, right? The idea is to have something sweet to taste. Right, yeah. You might even want to like put yogurt in it. I don't know. I've never heard of that. I just made it up right now. <laughs> Hot off the presses, okay, yogurt in your okay. carousel. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about the Seder plate. You have to make, get your, your, your plate ready. You need a plate. Yeah. Now you can buy these plates, these commercial plates. We uh, have we and have we, we have one here. And we'll, be, we'll show it to you. I'll go ahead and, and get the camera. Get it down here and show you the plate. We have a plate. So if you have a plate, that's great. But let me tell you something about these plates. Um, the sections on the plate, what's on the plate, um, it varies pretty heavily by there's different sects of, of Judaism, there's different sects, there's different groups, there's different traditions. Don't worry about it too much. You can get a regular plate. If you want to put little circles on it, uh, some people actually put little bowls, uh, um, six little bowls on their plate. Some people don't even have a plate. They just put bowls in a, uh, in a circle on the table as well. Um, so you can, even, you can even have some fun with your kids and have them take a paper plate and draw on it, right? Now, actually, what's interesting is you really only need five circles on this plate. Um, six is kind of traditional, but we're not going to be using all six of the items there anyway. So you'll see a lot of discussion on the sixth item and how that, where that came from. There's... Long story on that. Let's go around the, the plate itself let's, and see what's on it. Yeah, there. let's see. So now you're going to need to make these things on Thursday to go on the plate. Your plate. So um, you got to take some of your parsley. You're just going to take some sprigs of parsley, break them up, put them on the plate. Yeah. That's this pretty is celery simple. celery if, if you can't find parsley. Oh, sorry. Celery works celery great. Celery traditional. Okay. Bitter herb. We've got the horseradish. We just set the jar here on the plate. Um, that we, what we do. 
Um, the chair is set. We put an apple here today. We're going to actually make some chair is set. We just didn't make any today. There's our apple to remind us of the chair is set. Here's our three bones. Now, some people put a, it's traditional here uh, to put a, the, a small bone, a lamb bone especially, um, here. I don't know where to get a lamb bone. Uh, some people have like a little jewelry cross or something, and they'll put a little cross here. This represents, and uh, to represent the crucifixion as well. So um, those are common where Christians will add a, Christians actually will add the, the nails or the cross. Yes. Um, Jews will use the bone. Um, a roasted egg is traditional. This is the spot for the roasted egg. See our corn chips. You'll have to actually attend the Seder to find out why did the rainwaters use corn chip? Use, now, they're not just corn chips. They're bugles. Yeah, they have bugle. to be bugles. Yeah. Let's talk about the unity. All you need to do to make the unity is take a napkin, take three pieces of matzo, wrap them up in a cloth napkin, and you just made what's called the unity. Then take another napkin, put under it, and then make sure the leader has some money. If you need to, stick a $5 bill under there, right? And, um, and, and everything That's will be good. Five. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you need water on the table. Yes, you need water. Because on the when table. people are going to be like eating horseradish and stuff, need the they table. need to be able to grab the water. All right, so now we're going to set our table. Um, as we said, we put some tongs and things on the Seder plate. We make sure everybody has drinking water. We got a big carafe of water as well. We have our uh, grape juice with our grape juice glass, different glass. Extra matzo crackers are nice. I like to take a, I don't have it here on the table, like a napkin holder and just stick some matzo in there. It's a real great, easy way to hold matzo on a table. But there's lots of ways to do that. That's a tip. A bowl for your salt water, as we already pointed out, a small one because you're going to dip in it. A little bit larger one for washing of hands. Two candles in the lighter. You set that up on your table. Your table is good for everyone. And now at each place setting, give everybody a small plate. Fork a spoon, a napkin, their own water glass, their own juice glass, and make sure everybody has the toothpick or straw. You're kind of set. It's not that hard. It doesn't take that long. There's, there's not, I mean, uh, you don't have to go real fancy with it. And, uh, and that sets you up for Seder. And then all you need to do is make sure you dial in um, on, on Zoom, the uh, video. You'll be getting another video that talks about the technical side of this and how, what you're going to do to, to join us with our live Seder broadcast. If you have any questions, um, let, us know. let us know. You can send an email to passover at rainwaterfamily.com or you can send an email to office at cabag.org as well. So lots of ways, get in contact us, let us know if you have other questions. Um, and so please share. We'd love to have as many people as we can at each Seder, okay? Lord bless and keep you, goodbye.